Let's turn to some entertainment news now and Rick's reviews. 17th entertainment expert Rick Bentley joining us in studio with his review of Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes. And you sent me the video and I yes. just immediately looked at it and thought, what is this? So well, what is this? <laughs> obviously you're not a gamer. No, I'm not. Because the film is based on the very, very popular video game okay. from, uh, there was started in 2014 and there have been multiple versions of it along the way. The problem I'm having with this movie is it's the latest in a, in a movie that declares itself a horror film but then wants to keep a PG-13 rating. Mm. So what we have is every time there's these intense scares they pull it back so they, they don't lo move into the R rating. Now basically what the movie is about is imagine if you go to one of those pizza joints you know where they have those large mechanical characters singing and dancing. Well if they came to life by, because of demons, <laughs> and they had buzzsaws for mouths, that would be this movie. Okay. Just, uh, Josh Hutcherson, which you probably know from mm -hmm. the Hunger Game movies, plays a down and out guy who's looking for any job he can get. Well, he's hired as a security guard here, and he soon finds out that working with these these mechanical creatures is not the best of things to do. Now, unfortunately, what happens is in the movie, uh, in the game, it's all about staying away from those creatures. Mm -hmm. And it's fun for, to, to, to do that. The movie, they pulled away because of that PG-13 rating. And there's a lot about the siblings that's going on. Jo uh, Josh's character, Mike, has been given custody of his sister. His aunt wants to take her away, and it's all that. And it really sort of distracts. In fact, we get one sort of moment where we get what the could have been, and then they pull back again, and we get to the ending. And again, it has a Scooby-Doo ending. And I okay. say that because if you ever saw a Scooby-Doo cartoon, you get to the ending, and when they pull off the mask of the villain, you always go, well, I knew that. Well, that's the case here. Okay. The other weird thing I want to talk about real quickly is the fact that it, the, it's being released in a strange way. Yeah. It's in, it opens in theaters today, but it's also on the streaming service of Peacock. And it's going to be interesting to see if that produces any money for them. I don't know whether they gave up on the idea thinking that the movie was not going to do well, so maybe we can attract a few people to subscribe to Peacock. But you know, if you pay $9.99 for Peacock for a month, you could see the movie and a bunch of stuff for a month and then cancel if you want to. So uh, it, it's just an interesting way of opening a film. Yeah. We did that during COVID, yes. but that was because theaters were closed down. Now we're doing it and it doesn't, I don't know if it makes a lot of sense. So have you ever played the game or did you just know about the game because the movie I have played coming? the game and, okay. it, and it's, it's, it's incredibly fun. I yeah. mean, it, it's gory and violent and you know, if you like that sort of thing. And, and I think that, I don't know, uh, I guess they're aiming it toward that audience. That's why they want to keep it that age group of 13 to 19 year olds mm -hmm. probably. Because uh, those are the ones who are probably going to go see the movie. But again, if, you, if, you, if you're afraid to be a full horror film, um, you're going to end up with these sort of boring, boring moments. And, yeah. and so what I ended up fig figuring out that's Five Nights at Freddy's mm -hmm. is 110 mi minutes of tedium. Oh, tedium. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you then, what was your grade for this? It's, a, it's a, a very generous D. A D. Even if people are huge fans of the game, it's still just not that great? Uh, it got points for those people. If, if, it, <laughs> if there weren't fans of the games, it would have gotten worse. Okay, so we have about 30 seconds left. I wanted to ask you, because it is Halloween, we just did your top list of Rick's five favorite Halloween right. movies. If we're staying home, is there anything out streaming right now or on all of those services that we should watch? They're, they're everywhere. Okay. You know, I wish I could, I could list all of them. There is a really good series on, on D Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. It's based on the Goosebumps books okay. that I'm really recommending. They, they've taken those single books and made it into a series. It's really good. So I would say if you have Disney Plus, that's the, you should try watching Goosebumps. Okay, fantastic. Because I loved Goosebumps as a kid. They're, they're and so great books. Fun. And I think they still hold up for adults. Good. And just in time for Halloween weekend. Exactly. Now you